Hey, how's it going guys? It's the Lamaser here and welcome back to another Rocket League video and in this one guys We are gonna be going over a bunch of tricks tips whatever you want to call them But basically these are a bunch of things that pretty much every single player should know if they want to get better at this game However, all of these tricks aren't obvious and they're actually kind of like secrets of the pros if you want to put it that way But it's not like you can learn them from the tutorials in the game You either learn these on your own or by watching a tutorial like you guys are doing right now so yeah, if you guys are like me and you're on that grind to get to those next levels in the ranked season and you're just going after those new wheels, those freaking beautiful champion ones, these are definitely some tricks that you should learn in order to get into those higher levels. Now the tricks that I'm going to show you guys today are kind of in the moderate to advanced range. So if you are say a beginner or kind of in the middle of the skill range, I definitely think you guys will learn something new from this video. And if you happen to be an advanced player, I definitely watch this one through as well. Because who knows, you might still not know about some of these tricks. But anyways guys, as always, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed today's video. And without further ado, let's get into it here. Alright guys, so to start this video off, I thought I'd go straight into it with a fairly simple trick, but honestly one that is extremely helpful and is not one that a lot of players know. Like, I don't really want to admit it, but I didn't learn about this trick until fairly recently when I was just messing around in free play, but it is honestly a freaking lifesaver. But anyways, the little trick that I am talking about, I don't really know exactly what it's called, some of these things have some crazy names, but we are just gonna go with the name, the Quick Power Slide. So when you're first starting out in Rocket League, whether or not you're doing the tutorial or just learning things on your own, one of the things in the very beginning that you learn to do is how to do a power slide. Now when people usually do a power slide, they don't do it the right way. In fact, the tutorial doesn't even teach the right way to do it. It only tells you to hold X or square or whatever the button is that you're using to just kind of drift around and this can kind of be helpful to turn you around and stuff like that. But overall, it doesn't turn your car very fast. Now this is the exact problem that the quick power slide solves and it's not a very obvious trick unless you came by it by accident. But basically to do this quick power slide and you better prepare yourselves because it is very, very tough. What you need to do is literally just hold down the gas while you are doing a power slide. I know that is incredibly hard, but I believe in you guys and I think you can do it. But yeah, many people don't do this. And as you can see on screen, it lets you just turn your car around a lot faster. And you also keep some of that momentum going so that you can get yourself back up to speed very quickly. So again, to show you how much of a difference it is between these two methods, here I am again doing the basic power slide just by holding X and turning whichever direction I want to go. But again, it's just kind of awkward as you just keep sliding away and it doesn't turn you around very fast. However, if we switch over to the quick power slide and just hold down that gas button, it lets me do these U-turns just so much faster. Like just putting these side by side, you can easily see the difference and why this method works so well. Now in terms of when you should use this and when it is most useful, it is of course just kind of useful all of the time when you need to make a quick turn particularly like 90 degrees and even doing like a u-turn when you're going full speed but i also use this a ton at kickoff when i'm the one that's near the corner and i need to go for that corner boost i just quickly do one of these power slides and i can get there a lot faster now one other thing, if you're into freestyling, this works very well for doing that 180 takeoff where you just drift into it and go up into the air and it just makes your freestyles start out looking so freaking clean. Now speaking of freestyles, or more importantly just the basic version going up for aerials, these next two tips that I'm about to show you guys help out a ton with them. Like if you're a beginner or even a moderate player, you're probably going up for aerials wrong if you're not using these two tricks. So when you first learn to do aerials, and I will say that if you're starting out doing aerials to not do these next tricks that I'm about to show you, because they are advanced moves and you do need to know how to do a basic aerial in order to jump into them. However, with the basic aerial, you basically just do it by jumping and boosting into the air and then adjusting your car to hit the ball. Now with this method, and it's not wrong, and you can still do this in game even at really high levels, but overall this is just really the slowest possible way to start off an aerial. Now the faster way of doing it, and I'm going to show you two separate methods here, each of which has their own kind of pros and cons, but the first of which is definitely my favorite at the moment, and I'm not sure what to call it. I basically just call it a double jump aerial, but it helps out just a ton. Fun. So as you can probably already tell by the name, the double jump aerial involves two jumps before you start boosting into the air. 
So let me show you an example here in slow motion so that you can see exactly everything that I am doing. And to be honest, it is a fairly simple process. As you can see here, when I see the ball go up in the air and I spot where exactly I want to hit it, I then simply double tap the jump button and I don't hold the left analog stick in any direction because of course, if you do hold it in a direction, it's going to make you do a flip and that is just incredibly annoying. However, if you do it correctly, you should jump up straight into the air and when I'm at this point in the jump, I immediately hold back and start boosting upwards. Now just by doing this simple thing of starting out your aerial with this double jump, you will kind of just sort of cannon into the air and it lets you just get to the ball a lot faster than you would with a normal aerial. Now I don't even really need to tell you guys, but getting to aerials faster is just such a very important skill, especially at those higher levels of play. I mean, when you get up to those higher ranks, the ball spends a lot more time in the air and just by being able to use these tricks to your advantage to get to that ball before your opponent, you will easily be able to take a bunch more shots and just keep that ball on your opponent's side. So yeah, definitely learn this trick because it does come in handy a ton. However, it isn't actually the fastest way of starting out an aerial. As far as I know, this next method that I'm going to be showing you is the fastest way to start off and it really gets you into the air incredibly quick. But anyways, I'm not really sure what this one is called as well. If you have a name for it, be sure to leave it down below in the comments. But let's just go ahead and call it like the mid boost jump or something like that. Now with this technique, it is significantly faster than the previous one as I already said. However, it is a fair bit harder and can also be less accurate. But anyways, jumping straight into how to do this one. Basically, when you see the ball go up in the air and you're ready to start out your aerial, you want to first press the A button to jump into the air and then immediately pull back your left stick and start boosting as well. And then after that, let go of your left stick and press the A button again so that you get that second jump while you are boosting upwards. So again, when you're starting out your aerial, jump into the air and then pull back and start boosting and then press the A button again to get that second jump while you are still boosting upwards. Now as I already said, this one can be tough and the main reason that it is tough to do is that you really have to kind of play claw in order to do it seamlessly. Now if you don't know how to play claw, and I'm going to put it simply here, basically what you do, instead of using your thumb to press the buttons on the right side, you use your pointer finger and curl it backwards to press it on that boost button so that you can then hold it down while you press A with your thumb. Now this will be a little bit hard at first and maybe I can explain it better in a different video, but it is a method that a bunch of pros use and I've been using it for a while and it's definitely something that you should learn. But getting back to this aerial method itself, it can get you to that ball like immediately. You are literally a rocket ship going up to hit that ball and it honestly feels really cool to do. However, with it being faster and also just kind of being a weird method to pull off, it can be less accurate and it really isn't worth it unless you see the ball really high up or it looks like your opponent is going to beat you to the ball. Still, it is definitely a very cool method and can really be useful in a ton of situations. But anyways guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, be sure to leave a like down below. It only takes a second and it helps me out a ton and do not forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one or you can check out some of my other series coming up in just a moment. But other than that guys, again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm the Lamaser, and I will see you guys next time.